Kamala Harris said. was interviewed by Brett Baer on Fox, mm-hmm. and by my understanding, uh, that would have been her best shot to get a non-Fox-like interviewer on Fox. Is that a fair statement? I would think mm-hmm. so. Apparently, I, he's I, he's I pretty objective. So. He's been right. Would you agree, right. John? And and she she yeah. was it was. It, all you do is cringe when you watch her, and at some point, she's undoubtedly fixing an earpiece. She's she's fussing with her ear, which was hidden behind her hair, and she's she had to have she had to be told what to say by people behind the stage, and then they're waving they're waving her off to end the interview prematurely. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're telling me somebody was talking to her during the interview? Yeah. Wah, wah, are are wah, you crazy, wah, 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 wah. or 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 is this just natural? Just natural. What am I missing? Somebody was talking to her, you're saying, during the interview. Well, she had an earpiece in. Well, she had her IFB in. So she had her IFB so she could hear. I mean, I'm... I'm in what, no... John? I'm losing you. What? Who are you? Like advisors are talking to her? Yes. Or... Yes. Say the red race is black. Say the red race is black. Oh, my God. The red race well, is you're right. We are we are doomed. You're right. Well, go look at the video. <laughs> I watched the video. Well, you didn't see her do this. Oh Tuck my her God. back in there like a pitcher. Oh, waka waka. Um, John, there yes. is a clip, Chris, of her. Uh-huh. It wasn't last night's interview. I saw it last night. Hold on. Well, what I'm trying to say, I'm, I'm trying to corroborate what you're saying. Yeah. Corroboration. And underneath that, John, there's a behind the scenes video in which she's giving some backstage handler, a, I believe it's a recipe for pot roast or something. I have no idea. But she she says, hang on a second. And she turns down and she you can tell that she's listening to somebody talking to her. Yeah. It was a completely separate interview. But, John, yeah, John, just, you're you're suggesting to me mute button now and go John, away. <laughs> John, you're, <laughs> yes. you're suggesting God. to me that you you think that was improbable that she would be getting uh, cues from her team. I think that was extraordinarily improbable. Yes. Oh boy. I now in this you know a lot of times you're right, John, and I I I beg off, but I think you're terribly naive to think she wasn't getting instructions. You don't well, think the goofballs at Fox at this point would have made this a major story if that were true. Uh, it's been a story. I don't know that it's well, major. Well, really where at? Because well, I'd only, like to look that uh, well, up. Well, only on social media, so oh. therefore you're right. It does not count as a story. But, John, would you put it past the party to do something like this? I, I wouldn't put it past either party. Yeah, that, I guess that's well, better stated. Well, I guess we can stated. say that about anything from now on, then. Whenever we talk about either presidential candidate, I'm just going to say, well, I wouldn't put it past him. But I would say... I wouldn't disagree with you, to be perfectly the honest. Lo- the logistics, <laughs> you would really have to be a pro to be doing an interview and have somebody I'll say. saying what to say in the, your ear while you're still processing yeah, what's going on. that's a good that point. Be very... Because it would be back in, the, back in the radio days, it would be like us using the talk back <laughs> with you and then you answering us while you're doing the show. Right. No, I'll take it at the break. <laughs> Joe, you're still on. <laughs> Oh. Well, John, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, nothing. And I have no reason to defend that. Not nothing surprises me. Uh, I I don't think she has a depth of knowledge about. Uh, there, here's the problem: we're dealing with two people who don't have a depth of knowledge about that two o'clock phone call when China calls Lloyd Austin. Who do we turn to? Who's 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 in charge? Now, did you see the clip, again, social media, but I don't think it was AI, of Biden talking to Barack at Ethel Kennedy's funeral? I did not see that. Now, people have had a great deal of fun with it. There's been some bad lip reading associated with that, which is hysterical. Inserting their own uh, lip reading. But (laughs) but we don't know what the two were talking about, but it it seemed seemed rather uh, animated. Right. It, it, that Biden, uh, it was. Well, there's no question he's mad, meaning Biden, that he was pushed off. Well, the door. in this case, there's no question that Obama was a little bit angry. This was a very animated conversation. For sure. Yep. And we don't know what it was about, but I'm just wondering who's in charge because it sure as hell isn't that poor Joe Biden. He doesn't know if he's on foot or horseback. He's, he's slipping and they're all slipping. They are. 
They're all slipping. So slipping do you away. get that that was a sense of, and I'm talking Obama now, him essentially knowing that we're, we're not in good shape right now for what's coming in, well, in what, 19 it, especially days? Especially if you go with some of the versions where people have supplied their own lip reading. It's just one of the funniest things I've ever seen <laughs> because uh, <laughs> it, it's... Uh, 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 did you see the? And one? I don't know how they do it because it was their their two voices. Well, that's AI generated. How do you do it? Well, rookie has an app where yeah, we can get Trump app. to. It's it's fairly easy, Joe. In all seriousness, you know Barack is saying to Biden, "Look, uh, Joe, the people have found out she's retarded. We're uh, we're losing. Uh, does this mean I can't use that word? I wouldn't. Well, well, that's the word it was used. I didn't make well, it up. The the word was used by former President Trump. Yeah, he's used that yeah. in public. He okay. used it last, or two nights ago. Yeah. Anyway, and Sorry. Joe says, do you think I can get back in? And and, and uh, Obama says, no, no, no. no, no, no. Yeah. But then you see there's also standing with him was was Clinton a little bit off to the side. Don't forget about me. <laughs> no, he said, well, women up in this area look good. Yeah, I like Sector 7. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Everything's, we're, we're having the life. What's going on? We're having the life taken out of us. At the University of Kansas, they <laughs> fired a professor who, who called. I'm surprised they fired the professor who called for anti-Harris male voters to be lined up and shot. Ooh. Well, well nothing that's nothing wrong with that, seems, is there? Seems harsh. Well, you know. If that's what we have to do. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Phil Lowcock. What? Lowcock. Hmm. Uh, was call- He's telling everybody. Is that a nickname? <laughs> was caught on video calling for male voters to be shot if they refuse to support Harris. What a fool. He's been fired. Uh Guys are smarter than girls. You got some serious problems. It's what it was. It's what frustrates me," said Lowcock in a classroom full of college students. There are going to be some males in our society that will refuse to vote for a potential female president because they don't think females are smart enough to be president. Can we pause right there? Yes, sir. I'm tired of that argument. I w- she's not votable. It, I don't care that she. There's many females I'd vote for. She ain't one of them. She's just not one of them. Uh, We can line all those guys up and shoot 